Even if your dog has tons of energy, you can help them calm down with a few simple tricks. The first one is to give them more opportunities to sniff. It might sound simple, but this is the most underrated trick in this list, and most people don't use it correctly. The reason sniffing helps your dog be calm is that a dog's primary sense is smell. Not only do they enjoy sniffing, but it also lowers their heart rate. Most people don't satisfy all of their dog's needs when it comes to helping them relax, and then they get frustrated when their dog has way too much energy. I've got two favorite ways to let my dog get in more sniffing. The first is to set up a sniffing scavenger hunt for him. I do this by scattering or hiding his kibble around the house. If your dog is new to scavenger hunts, you might need to help them look for the food at first, but they'll become expert scavengers in no time. If your dog has tons of energy, instead of feeding them their meals in a bowl, you can make them work for their meals in a scavenger hunt. This way, you can feed them and use up some of their energy at the same time without giving them too many extra calories. I'll share all about this in the next video, which I'll share with you at the end of this one. My other favorite way to get more sniffing in my dog's day is to allow him to stop and sniff on walks more. For dogs, a walk is often more about the sniffing and all the interesting information they get through their nose than it is the actual walking. Yes, I know, it might seem boring or annoying to you, but when you let your pups stop and sniff, they're doing something that makes them happy and calm. We'll talk about a fun way to do this more in a bit. Now sniffing mentally exercises your pup and leaves them surprisingly tired and content. And so will this next activity, training your dog. Not only will training help them behave better, but training them is one of the best ways to mentally exercise them and calm them down. But most people overcomplicate it. Even just five minutes of training can wear your dog out in a way that physical exercise alone can't. You can work on the basic skills like sit, down, and come, but also on fun tricks like shake, spin, and roll over. This is the first of several activities on this list that you can do inside your home no matter how old your dog is. Training and sniffing during walks do a great job at mentally wording out your pup, but they both take up a good bit of your time. This next way to keep your dog calm is an activity that they can do all by themselves, and that is solving puzzle toys. Puzzle toys are toys where your dog has to use their brain and chew, roll, or shake the toy in order to get the food out of it. My favorite puzzle toy is a frozen Kong. This is where you soak their food in water, put it in a Kong, and then freeze it. A great one-two punch to keep your dog calm is, after they exercise, but they're still amped up, give them a puzzle toy to help bring them down. All that mental work to get the treats or the tibble can leave them feeling relaxed and content. And speaking of physical exercise, that's what this next tip is about. Get them the right amount of physical exercise every day to keep them calm. Yes, I know, this might sound obvious, but there's a twist. Many dogs, especially puppies, will actually become wild and out of control if they get too much physical exercise. It's kind of like human toddlers. If they're overtired, they're gonna be crazy. So you might be having a nice little playtime with them, but if it goes on too long, you end up pushing your pup over the edge. They'll start to bite your hands and clothes and become uncontrollable. And I can see you nodding your head right now. Mm-hmm, I know you've been there before. Now some dogs will be more active than others, and their exercise needs will change as they get older. So there's no exact formula to follow for how long they should exercise. But you can do some of the other activities in this video, then see how they're feeling to get a good gauge of how much physical exercise they actually need. Now often when we think of exercising a dog, we think of walking them on a leash. And while that can be a good way to exercise them, if you have a very energetic dog, it's usually not enough. Well, at least doing your typical walk around the neighborhood is not enough. Earlier we talked about how great sniffing is for energetic dogs. So here is one of my favorite activities to do with my pup. I put him in a harness on a 20 foot leash and I take him to a park. This gets a little bit of physical energy out but it lets him get in way more sniffs than he would on a regular six foot leash. He's always worn out and happy after we do this, and I'll drop links to my favorite harness and long leash down in the description for you. If you don't feel like hitting up your local park and you'd prefer to stay home, then games like fetch and tug of war can be fun ways to physically exercise your pup. If it's rainy outside and you've got to stay indoors, one of my favorite games is hide and seek. This is a great way to exercise your dog and work on training at the same time. To play this game, 
put them in a down stay in one room, hide in another room, and call them to you so that they have to come and find you. Next up is a counterintuitive way to keep your dog calm, but if you love your dog and want to raise them to be the best dog they can be, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any videos for raising the dog of your dreams. Now, if you want your dog to be calm, here's a weird tip. Make sure they get enough sleep. I know, it might not make sense, but hear me out. Just like when dogs get too much exercise, if they don't get enough sleep, they can be bitey, barky, and jumpy. This is especially important for puppies and teenage dogs. And the hardest thing here is that sometimes you might think your puppy needs more exercise or playtime because they're so crazy, but in reality, they just need some sleep. They throw temper tantrums when they're overly tired, just like a human toddler. A good rule of thumb to remember is that after one to two hours of active awake time, a puppy is ready for a nap. Now here's a tip that will help almost every dog owner. If you want a calm dog, you need to give them plenty of things they can bite, chew, and carry around. Many dogs, especially puppies, can be very mouthy, and this can lead them to get a bit wild with nipping your hands or chewing up things in your house. To help satisfy their mouthy instincts and keep them calm, be sure to leave lots of different toys and chews out on the floor for them. Now here's a question for you. Did you know that your own energy level can make a big difference in how calm your dog is? We're gonna talk about how you can use your own energy to help your dog be calm in a minute. But first, let's talk about a super easy thing you can do every day to encourage them to be calm. When you see your dog showing nice, calm behavior, give them a treat. Here's a simple rule of thumb to remember. What gets rewarded gets repeated. So if you reward calm behavior today, your dog is likely to do more calm behavior in the future. Here's how this works out in real life. Maybe you see your pup curled up on their bed or on a rug. Quietly walk over and deliver a treat to them and then go back to what you were doing. Or maybe you're out on a walk and your dog sees another person or another dog. If they're curious but not barking or pulling, that's a perfect moment to reward them for being calm in the presence of others. It can help to keep treats in your pocket or in containers around the house so that you can quickly and easily reward your dog. All right, let's get back to discussing how your own energy can help your puppy be calm. Your dog probably brings a lot of energy to the table, so you wanna be careful not to bring too much of your own. For example, if you're playing with your dog and you start to get very animated and loud, they might get overexcited and start to bite, jump, or bark at you. Now, this isn't to say that you can't play and have fun with your pup. You definitely should, but just be aware that your own energy can hype them up too much if you're not careful. And sometimes, once your dog is overexcited, it can be hard to bring them back down. So try to play with your puppy in ways that keep them from bubbling over the top with energy. Now, one of the biggest things that helped my dog be more calm is that I stopped feeding him from the food bowl. See why and what I did instead in this next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.